Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the range based for loop in C++. So all of you know how to use the for loop in C++, you know, the normal for loop, which we can find in C, C++, Java, PHP. And in C++, we have a special for loop, which is added in the C++11 standard. And this is called a range based for loop. It's similar to the for each loop available in the other languages such as Java or PHP. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the range based for loop in C++. So to use this for loop, you need to write the keyword for, then the pair of parentheses and then pair of curly braces. And between these curly braces, we're going to write all the statement that we want to execute. So here between these parentheses, first we need to write a variable, which is going to loop through all the elements of an array or a collection or the range. So it's going to be a variable here. And then we need to have a colon. Then we should have a collection or a array or the range. So this is it. So it's going to be a variable which is going to contain the each elements of this collection or uh, the array or the range you know in each iteration so if it's confusing don't worry when we see the example it's going to be clear so here for the demonstration purpose i'm going to create an array so let's call it as uh, marks and it's going to be an integer array and i'm going to initialize it right here let's say 66 55 22 88 99 77 441100. I don't know how many elements are there, but here the main purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate the use of a range based for loop. So it's going to be for and then a pair of parentheses and then a pair of curly braces. And between these parentheses, first we need to write the variable which is going to contain the elements of this array which we pass one element at one iteration. So I'm going to create that right here. Since the value stored in this array that we're going to pass to this range based for loop is of type integers, we need a variable to store these values. So it's going to be int and let me call it as where and then the colon. Then we need to specify the range or the array or the collection for which this for loop has to run. So in this case, it's going to be marks. And that's it. I'm going to use a cout statement here in this uh, for loop. And we're going to print out the value of this variable where and let's add the end line. So now what happens is in the first iteration, this where is going to contain a value of 66. And that will be printed and in the second iteration this where is going to contain the second element 55 and in the third iteration is going to contain 22 and in the fourth iteration is going to contain 88 similarly until it reaches the end of this array or collection or the range that we specify so i'm going to save this i'm going to build and run this so now you guys can see we got all the values and the next thing is uh, here we can pass a range also so just to demonstrate that i'm gonna delete this and copy this range or cut it and i'm gonna paste that in place of this marks so now we haven't changed anything you know we just specified a range here using the curly braces and i'm gonna save this program i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see you got the same thing so this is it this is about the range based for loop which is added in the c11 standard which is going to iterate over all the elements of an array or a collection or a range and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial